Hey there, it's Ashley Cannon Newell and I have a video tutorial to share with you using this Delight Air Dry Molding Compound which is like a, just a, a molding paste. And here it is here and I am using a bottle to kind of roll it out. And you can use whatever you know type of tool you have, a you know, rolling pen works great. Um, but you need to air dry it at least for about two, overnight I'd say. And I already have one here the size of the die that I'm going to be using. I already air dried. And I, this is some vellum that I'm going to be using because I like to sandwich the um, vellum in between the dried molding paste and the actual dye. And that's just to kind of make sure that if it's still not all the way dry, nothing will stick to anything. And I try to get as nice and clean of a cut as I can. So I'm just creating my sandwich for my die cutting right now. And um, for the cuddle bug here and I'm just going to go ahead and roll it through uh, my die cutting machine and here is the result. You can see the cut here. It doesn't pop it all the way out because my sandwich is kind of thicker there because I added the vellum um, part of it to the sandwich but it kind of cracks when it's a nice clean cut but since this um, particular cut is detailed like all of the little intricate little scalloped little angles and everything and the actual frame die cut you may need to use like a craft knife or an exacto knife just to just help um, it pop out um, it's just, just because of the actual molding um, paste that you know that you're using the medium um, but you still get a great look and I love the texture and everything and it's a little bit rough right here on this particular one but you can use your craft knife um, just to just fray off a little bit any of the edges that you have there and you get the same type of um, results when you die cut with cardstock sometimes you have little parts of the paper on the edge that you need to kind of like scrape off well you have the same thing with the with the using the um, molding paste as well that you might need to clean up a little bit and um, with this particular design you may need to use something that's a little bit more um, easy to work around those detailed angles versus a straight type of line type of die cut. Alright, I have the Simply Jane stamp that coordinates with this particular die and I'm just going to stamp it using Raspberry Fizz ink directly over the die, the die cut it's the same way you would do as if you had cardstock and um, right now I'm just using chamomile ink, the tea dye ink, just to kind of stain it. And the great thing about using uh, the molding paste and creating this rolled dough type of look is because it just has such so much more texture than cardstock, um, so much more weight, a little bit more weight, but it's not heavy, but a little bit more weight than cardstock. And um, it's just the texture that's in it is so much better than even like um, the coaster board. So it just gives you, and this is just another medium you can use for your projects. It's not too heavy, it's lightweight, and it just gives you the extra texture. Um, you can do a lot of different things with it as you have seen or will see today in all the videos. So I have um, a Sweet Blush card base here, and I've stamped a, a sentiment from the Simply Jane stamp set in the center. And I'm just going to frame it out with my rolled dough frame design. And I also have some die cut flowers from that same Simply Jane stamp set that I'm just going to use to embellish the frame. So don't be afraid to use those intricate dies um, and coordinating stamps in order to make a great impression for your card recipient. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on how to use molding paste in order to create a very textured look and your own custom embellishment. And I hope you will create your own rolled dough design frame today as well. Have fun. Thanks so much for watching. For Paper Tray Inc., I'm Ashley Cannonall. Bye. <music>